G'day everyone, welcome back to Let's Eat. Uh, today we'll be cooking a stock, a uh, chicken stock to be precise. Uh, I find them a lot better to make your own rather than get it from the store. That makes your soups and curries and all that, all that more tasty. So let's get into it. Let's cook stock. So, home-cooked chicken stock, which makes it yummier, yummier, yummier. And it's very easy to cook, very easy. I'll show you exactly how to do it. There's only a few ingredients, there's only a few uh, methods to how to make it. And that's just a matter of time, because you've got to cook it for about, I don't know, between two and three hours, depending on how much, um, how much uh, ingredients you have. So, I'll go across on what we've got here. And um, here's what we've got. So, we have the chicken which I use chicken wings because I like the because it's got a lot of gelatin and stuff in it so which uh, helps the chicken stock and uh, I've got some garlic and I've got some peppercorns bay leaf and I like to put a few little dried chilies in there just to give it a little bit of spice because m most of the things I cook with is spice so and I've also got some thyme and we've got some onions we've got some celery carrots and a little bit of parsley and then, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cook the chicken until it boils and then um, drain it all out to get rid of all the scum. I'll show you what that means and what that looks like. And then re-put it in and then put all the ingredients back in it. And then we'll let it simmer for about two to three hours. Good fun. So we'll fill the, um, just to cover up the water, just enough to cover the chicken. And um, then we'll bring it to the boil. And then, um, yeah, as I said, we'll drain it and all that, but I'll show you how all that works and how you do all that stuff. So I'm just bringing it up enough for it to cover the chicken, and that'll do. I'll turn the stove on, I'll bring the pot across there, and we'll do that. And then we'll put a lid on it, and then we'll wait for it to boil. So while we're waiting for that to boil, we'll just uh, cut up a few of the vegetables just to make them a little bit more uniform and in shape so we can cook them up. So here we go, we've got some carrots. I'll just cut them, leave, leave the skin on. Don't bother taking the, the butts off or anything like that. Doesn't matter for stock. You can do all that sort of stuff. So yeah, you don't have to worry about peeling them. And then we've got our onions, which are just going to go in like that, so, which is easy. But I'll cut the celery up. Just in the sort of small, small pieces like that. Nothing too difficult. It's all very, 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 very easy. And this goes into the bowl. Now I'll just put all the rest of the ingredients into the bowl. In goes the parsley, garlic, the bay leaf, chili, and peppercorns. And then we chuck some thyme in. There we go. And that's about it. So that's all ready to go for when the chicken comes up to boil for the second time and then we'll chuck it in. So now the chicken has been uh, cooking away, simmering now for like five minutes. I'm going to show you what I mean by the scum that comes to the top of the um, pot. So as you can see, I don't want this the camera to fog up. You can see the scum that's everywhere we need to get rid of that. So I'm going to drain it all and um, then put fresh water back in there and do it so we have a clearer, nicer stock. So now I'm just filling the stock pot up again with the chicken in it and then once it gets over the chicken I'll put the veggies in to make sure everything's covered and then it goes back on the stove ready to cook. So now I'll put all the veggies in. There we go. I'll fill it up a little bit more because I want a fair bit of stock. There 
there we go and then that goes back on the stove back on the stove now I'll put a lid back on it and then let that cook to two to three hours So when it starts to simmer now with the stock, you'll see how it's got a little bit of scum in that on the top. So what I like to do is, I just like to get rid of that. We don't need that. And it helps, and it helps to have a clearer stock. And that much nicer stock. So, I mean, you don't have to do it, but I just like to do it just to get rid of those little bits of scum. We got rid of most of it when we cooked it off. See how it just, just to get rid of a little bit of scum around the top. There we go. Nice. So it's been about two and a bit hours now for the stock. So now I'm just about to drain it all out, empty it, get rid of all the stuff and then we'll uh, put it in, up into jars. Alright, so I'll show you how it is now. So here it is, been bubbling there for two and a bit hours. As you can see it's reduced a little bit there. But um, yeah, she's ready to go, so now we'll drain her off. So now we're just going to wait for all this to cool down. Once it's all cooled down, I'll put it into containers and then we'll freeze it all. Ready for when we need it. This is the end result. All put up in the containers, all labelled, and then yeah, so this is the end product. So this is how I do my famous chicken stock. So there you go, that's how I make my stock. It's uh, it's very easy, but it's just a long process. It takes about three hours all up, once you cool everything down and heat everything up. But it's uh, yeah, pretty easy to do, and it tastes great too. Thanks very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.